So, you're Fiona Apple. You are sitting on your first new album in eight years. Do you hold on to it until the fall, or do you just pull a Beyonce and drop it? In a few minutes, we'll tell you what Fiona is thinking. Today is Wednesday, April 1st, and no joke, this is The Current's Music News. I'm Jay. And I'm Jade. And I think we could all use a little silver lining, a nice story to feel kind of good about. And so I've been searching out a couple of these feel-good stories, and our musicians are not letting us down. Uh, One of those feel-good stories is actually about Nashville. You know, Nashville got a kind of double whammy. They got hit with this huge tornado that tore through their downtown. I mean, this is like music city, number one in the nation, and just completely demolished a lot of the downtown landmarks. Uh, Well, and then uh, got hit by the COVID-19 pandemic, as we all did. And so a lot of these places have been struggling. Enter Taylor Swift, of all people, I know. Well, Nashville's her home, and she decided to swoop in and save Grimey's. Grimey is this legendary record store. I've been there a number of times, and it is teeny tiny, but uh, it's been home to so many musicians to play first shows or special kind of in-record store live concerts. So it is like this legendary, iconic place. And Taylor Swift has, uh, kind of under the radar, been paying employees' salaries and three months of health care pretty huge. Another artist that's been helping out with the COVID pandemic is Lizzo. Uh, Not only is she giving meditation advice to her fans on Instagram, but she also sent some lunch to people working in the ER dealing with the pandemic hands-on. So she sent it to uh, a number of hospitals all across the nation, including here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and at uh, the birthplace of Lizzo in Detroit. Uh, She sent it to the Henry Ford Hospital, and they, they all took a photo and thanked the artist, and they shared a video that she had sent them. Hello, Henry Ford. What up? What up, though? It's Lizzo, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for all that you're doing during this pandemic. Um, It's definitely not easy, and you guys are putting yourselves on the front line. So um, because of that, I wanted to treat y'all to a meal, and I really hope that you guys enjoy the food. We did everything that we could to keep it safe for y'all, so, you know, lunch on me. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being the heroes in this story. And um, we're staying inside and we're praying and thinking of you every single day. So we've talked about artists who are delaying planned album releases until they can tour to support the albums, pushing them back until this fall or even later. Other artists are figuring, well, people are ready for some new music right now. Let's get it out there. Fish are planning to debut their new album, Sigma Oasis, during an online listening party tonight, April 1st. It's their first new album in four years, and the Vermont Jam Band have apparently been jamming on this new music since last November. The music world has also been buzzing about the fact that Fiona Apple has finished her first new album in eight years. Should I release it? Like soon? Like really soon? I think I'm gonna. It's a pretty big deal, but there's no official release date announced yet. Apparently some people have been saying she should think about holding off, but she is teasing a possible release for the new album titled The Bolt Cutters very soon. I'm very excited about that. And I know we've spent a good amount of time talking about artists who are live streaming their concerts, but there is another thing that has been popping up on the streaming sphere, and that is DJs. Uh, DJs performing just some live sets, and it goes back to kind of the roots of uh, DJ and hip hop music. In fact, Vice checked in with several people, including uh, this Miami-based DJ called A Fly Guy, and he said, They say August 11th, 1973, when Cool Herc threw the very first party, it was the birth of hip-hop. But he said the day D-Nice, who's a DJ, uh, got 100,000 attendees on Instagram Live, that is also going to be considered a day to mark in history. And yes, these are like... People are showing up for these DJ sets. Uh, D-Nice has been 
performing these for the past couple of weeks, and people like Michelle Obama and Rihanna and Drake have all been showing up. So it's not just uh, the regular listeners tuning in, but huge celebrities as well. It's kind of nice to see we can all come together for a big dance party on the internet. It's not quite the same as being in the real club, but being in any kind of a club with Michelle Obama sounds good to me. I'm in, yeah. Well, Flavor Flav has not actually been fired from Public Enemy, despite what you may have heard. The behind the scenes story involved Flavor Flav's rep sending a cease and desist after his image was used without permission at a Bernie Sanders rally where Chuck D was performing The whole thing apparently was a ruse to get publicity. So they're not really feuding. And to prove it, Flav actually appears on a new track from Chuck's project, Public Enemy Radio, which is not the same as Public Enemy, despite the fact that Chuck D and Flavor Flav are both on the track. Are you confused yet? The point is, (laughs) they're still friends. They're still collaborators. And Chuck D spoke about the whole situation in an interview for Talib Kweli's web show. Was Flav really mad that Chuck showed up at a Bernie Sanders rally? Number one, Flav don't know the difference between Bernie Sanders, Barry Sanders, or Colonel Sanders. He don't give a f***, right? We already talked about this beforehand. Public Enemy Radio went up. His lawyer said, I'll cease and desist. I'm like... Good move. Then publicly, man, you don't f- sue me again. He ain't mm-hmm. suing me. That's today's music news. We'll be back next time with another update. You can like and follow us to make sure you catch it. And in the meantime, listen to The Current on the radio, on our web stream, on our app, or on your smart speaker. And click on the comments to let us know what music news stories are meaningful to you right now. And to wrap up, we'll give you another way to enjoy The Current. That is by the kickoff of our virtual sessions. Morning show host for The Current, Jill Riley, sat down with, or I guess digitally hung out with, singer and songwriter Lissy. And Lissy talked about uh, the creative process and how she's been connecting with fans now that she's quarantined at home. Uh, you can check it out at thecurrent.org or just sit back and enjoy. I'm going to also, I'm going to play you one of my first, uh, my first breakout songs. I believe The Current played it a lot. And um I'm fortunate that I get to spend a ton of time in the Twin Cities, and I feel like I have a lot to thank this song for. And when I'm alone with you, and you're 